and welcome back to the average guess what we got some new Mia gouache jelly paint to review today this one has something slightly different that I was interested in it has some large and some small ones ignore the hairs this has been on the floor You've probably already seen this before because it's super popular don't know why I'm speaking like this just am and of course we've got my favorite thing in the world these plastic lids which I hate I have to peel off all these and then we can that figure out what's going on with these paints a big one and a small one wait a second i have been duped what is this it's small okay it's the same <laughs> it's the exact same length i guess is it the length or the width um but yeah they're the same but this one is slightly bigger i don't know why i thought it was going to be like a big oh well pretty cool at the moment i am in the process of trying to take a thumbnail so if you see that these are slightly differently arranged um that's because I, I need to figure out what to do with the thumbnail and if you've clicked this video because of the thumbnail thank you so much let me know let me know thumbnail done let's get into these i really find it i don't know why there's no rhyme or reason of like why there's slightly bigger colors um i'm not complaining because i think it's kind of cute but it's also like but why <laughs> why why you got these colors my favorite job of uh unpeeling these absolutely love that love that for me love that that's kubo what the most pathetic meow Kubo is a Siamese so that's why he sounds like that he's not a tortured soul just so you know um yeah so I need to unwrap all of the okay um I'm upset about it as well but calm down please I need to unwrap all of these and so let's get into it whilst I do this let's hear a message from my sponsor and by my sponsor I mean me because I am the sponsor of this video again like last time I'm gonna be explaining to you that comics are great and you can get them from my website in the link is in the description and also there's some stickers I made this new sticker recently and I really like it yes. okay yeah that's it but thanks uh, check out my shop bye There are all the colours. Oh my god, that took forever. I think my hands hurt <laughs> to get these tweezers because oh, it just wasn't coming off. But yeah, finally got into these. The smaller ones were easier to open than the large ones for some reason. The large ones didn't want to open. Also, we came with this like dry one, uh, which I can probably revive, but it was like a little bit open, so it was super dried out. Basically, what I want to do is sketch out sort of um what i want to paint like the outline pink or maybe i should like color this whole page with the deep hue that i want it to be first so all i'm in all am i all i'm doing is blocking out shapes to begin with and now i want to block out because what I'm gonna do is a swimming pool but with a girl swimming the reason for me trying to practice drawing water or painting water is because I am doing a horror comic about a haunted water park and a lot of it is gonna have like cool scenes where people are swimming and there's water and I really want to try and have fun with like the effects of water as well as being able to figure out stuff so this is just a study of like light I guess in water and people in water and I think it will be a really nice painting to do to figure out everything that I need to figure out for a comic so I've written it out as you might know if you've been following along on the vlogs and stuff I've done all the thumbnails and now I'm just doing the roughs and also I'm doing two comics like I did before where I did two comics at the same time like I kind of called them sister comics but I don't know if that made sense they're going to be sister comics even though they're kind of not related it's just that I like to do two short stories at the same time I don't know why I liked to do that with the last comics that I did and I think it just it was like cool so yeah doing it again uh so I've roughed out like the whole of that and yeah it's coming along really nicely so i'm really excited 
and I think it's going to be just so fun uh, to just put it on Etsy and, s and see if people respond because people have always responded so nicely to my comics and stuff uh, in the past so it's been really fun and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying it it's it's hard work obviously but we'll continue to try to finish them basically soon I really want to finish them soon and then I'll probably take a little bit of a rest because So yeah, just blocking out shapes, trying to be kind of loose with it because I like the idea of it being a little bit abstract or a little bit impressionistic I guess because that's kind of the images I'm drawn to uh, when I'm looking at water, I just think it's beautiful. I'm really being quite you know, rough with the blocking out and uh, yeah, I want to see where this goes, I feel like her head is way too weird shape though so I do want it to be able to be readable as that is a girl in it, the water sure. <laughs> controversial colour to use I think if you have this like kind of rough uh, smudging of the colours and stuff I feel like it gives it that ethereal feeling that you get and I feel like that's how you swim like I feel like water is just like being in another world give it that vibe you know of uh, just being somewhere else otherworldly sometimes Definitely struggling with this ugly stage of the painting, although it's kind of ugly cute, if that makes sense, because I kind of like how it's looking so far, but I'm like, it's not looking right, if that makes sense. I'm like, half, yes, I like it, half, no, I don't like it at all, it's horrible. But we'll see how we do. I mean, just trying to figure out the shapes. I guess that's all water is at the end of the day, it's like painting just shapes. And uh, let's see if we cannot figure that out because, I mean, you're looking at a reference of water. It's hard to conceptualise what you're looking at a little bit, I find, uh, but it is just shapes. So if we can break it down to these, like, interesting shapes, then maybe we can figure out what's going on. It's a difficult one. I definitely have always struggled with painting water and I'm always in awe of those people that can just paint water really well, you know, when they're like, oh, here's a wave and it looks super realistic and you're just like, how did you do that? <laughs> Tell me your secrets because I do not know. It's going well, is what I would say. I'm usually quite chatty during paintings, but this time I'm kind of like being really quiet, trying to concentrate and I'm realising that I'm being really quiet and uh, just because I want to see what I can do here. The comic uh, about the antique store is fully like roughed out, um, so that will be fun. And then this one I've just done the thumbnails like I said, so I'm ready to like do the larger roughs and then I'll be able to do the final version and yeah so this is a really good exercise for me to figure out water and even though maybe I won't really be drawing that much water it would be still nice to include it somewhere I mean it is a water park so there will be like people swimming but I don't think I've actually got that many oh no actually no I'm wrong I was thinking I haven't got that many shots of people swimming but actually I have I think so Never mind, never mind. I'm really enjoying the process, like I was saying. I'm actually kind of enjoying like how this painting is coming out, which is shocking because usually at this stage I'm like, 
what the hell is that um why am i drawing why am i an artist and it seems to be doing okay like obviously i'm not the best at drawing painting water i think that much is evident but i really like the kind of feeling of this painting like min minimalistic and just emotion of it i guess like the waves um i still need to sort out like the top and i want to do like a more of a gradient going up but I really like the idea of having somewhere to rest your eye because this is so busy and complicated that just having that panel of blue will be hopefully quite refreshing to look upon <laughs> with your eyes. Got those Taylor Swift, those Taylor Swift wit lyrics. I've got Taylor Swift lyrics in my head where she's like, I've never been an actual, all I do is try, try, try. And it's like, keep hearing that in my head. And I'm like, that's so true. <laughs> I feel like that's me. So that's kind of a, a nice tree, I guess. I need a darker colour. I want to really... Actually, do I need a darker colour or should I put like white around her? To really emphasise her and like maybe the water shining behind her. I'm gonna make her hair a lot darker just to make her a bit more of a realistic shape because at the moment she just doesn't look that... Obviously I'm trying to do that thing where underwater you kind of shift a little bit. She still needs to be somewhat realistic. So we can actually read as to her being a person. I keep seeing mistakes in this image and I'm like, oh, that would look better if that was like that. And then I feel like I could go on forever doing this. I am liking how it's turning out, but you know, I, I have you ever done a painting like this and then you put it up and it doesn't look as good? <laughs> I don't know, that's what I'm feeling like right now. But I'm just trying to figure out what to do, I'm trying to just make it better, I guess, which is, you know, the endless uh, want for someone painting, an artist, anyone knows, uh, say it down in the comments. <laughs> I'm liking it so far, and to be honest, this was just a quick, supposed to be just a quick study, so I'm not going to spend like such a huge time on it because it's just to find out, to test these paints basically, and then also to just, yeah, just see what these paints are like as usual. I really like them, uh, no complaints except for the lids, which I obviously absolutely despise, but have enjoyed it so far, <laughs> painting with this stuff. If anybody knows as well some like good GG painting, um, not painting but like painting water uh, videos because I've looked at a few but I'm obviously still not great at it but you know it's a process. I am sort of enjoying it. It's like one minute I'll find it fun and then I'll realise that it's not looking that much <laughs> like water <laughs> and then I'll be frustrated again. Uh, but you know it so I did this really like dark bit down here and I kind of enjoy how it looks but I also think like it's a little bit odd but it is what it is I think it doesn't look too bad it kind of looks strange but I kind of like that as well if that makes sense this darkness underneath the water speaking of darkness I think I want to make where her hair is under the water just a little bit darker also, I've been using a lot of black in this image, and usually when I'm painting, I don't ever use black. I just mix. Um, <clears throat> I make the dark, the colours darker by mixing the paints, like with the blue. I don't know why I've decided that I suddenly want to start using black a lot more. I mean, <laughs> I like it, but it's not technically a good painting, if that makes sense. But I kind of like the way that it's looking and I think we're gonna call it there because we have to upload the video but thanks for watching guys please check out my shop and all that jazz please like the video it really helps me out you know just supporting I guess you watching this video till now is super supportive so thank you so much if you are watching this video and let me know what you think about the painting uh, the study and I will see you next time bye